morning. I have another list for you. This one is from Ewan, and it is his German platoon. A lot of people have been playing around with German platoons since I started noticing. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people have been playing around with German platoons for a long time, but I sort of, I, like half a year ago, a year ago, we started messing around with that Make Germany Great Again um, almost meme. And um, since then, I've been trying to notice when people actually make it work. Um, so we, we have some uh, encouraging results from some of the uh, UK competitions. We have some results from the Spanish competitions where a German army won the Spanish nationals, an 80-man event. Um, we have a German army coming forth in the recent Zealand Open. So it does happen. The German armies actually are can be good, um, and people can bring them to victory, but it still seems like it is uh, tougher than on average. But there is a certain build that sort of is emerging right now, and let's see what Ewan is bringing here. 15 order dice, 999 points. I think you need to be around 15 order dice in order for this to actually work. Um, Waffen SS second lieutenant. This is what I've been seeing more and more of. Um, it does have the blind obedience, yes, but if you can get it, uh, you can get it in experience. This means that it's the cheapest lieutenant of the game. Very important. It does mean that you'll have to buy Waffen, F Waffen SS squads, and Ewan does so here. Um, He's buying six-man riflemen with a Faust. So these are skirmish units. Um, I like the addition of the Faust because that means that they, when they're skirmishing, they can't be pressured by enemy armor. It's going to have to be enemy assault units because um, the armor will just not want to be there. Right. And he has two of those. I really like it. It's a good setup. I would run these in tandem, uh, so very close to each other. Um, Preferably against uh, other skirmishes or um, teams, um, even even against assault units sometimes, if the assault units are on foot, against targets where you have you can deliver pins right, and then the uh, Panzer Pioneers, which are, have the motorized infantry, which makes it a little bit easier for them to to get out of vehicles. They're fanatics as well, so very expensive unit. Um, too expensive unit. It's it's just a six man unit, 120 points, but it does have some tough fighter. It is fanatic. Um, it does have a flamethrower. It does have two Panzerfaust, but it's only six regulars. These guys are going to get shot a lot, um, and he has two of these units. Too expensive, but um, yeah. I think if you have to run uh, Panzer Pioneers, I wouldn't run them with all the extra bling, basically. I would see if if I could cut them down to the bare bones, because they're regulars. Their delivery system for a, pan for a flamethrower, for me. Um, all the rest here is just... makes them more expensive. And he's got... oh, he's got three. They are good, don't get me wrong. And, and three... Engineer units with flamethrowers and Panzerfausts. It's definitely not bad. It's a really good push unit because it can threaten anything. Anything except Japanese hordes. Um, so it's it's a really good tool to have in your box. So engineers plus skirmishing plus cheap lieutenant. You can already see that this is going well. We've got an inexperienced medium mortar. Really good. Uh... Regular sniper team, yes. Panzer Shrek. The Panzer Shrek is too expensive uh, for what it does. Um, it is. It does have a higher penetration value than an American bazooka, but not ma that much bigger, and it's not not for those points. And you do have all the Panzerfausts. I don't think you really need a Shrek as well. Lighter howitzer, regular. Uh, I would get a spotter for this if I could maybe cut down on some of the skirmishes or the Panzerschreck team. Kugelwagen, that is to transport the Panzerschreck. Does give you a lot... No, it's not. It's an armored car. Ah! 
Okay. I would use the uh, the motorcycle, um, but it is pretty cheap. Flampanzer Hitzer. Ooh, that's a 9 plus Flampanzer. Is it worth 150 points though? Maybe. It's got weak sides and it wants to push up. Oh, it's a risk. It's a damn risk. I like it. it it's uh, it's really risky. And it's forward facing only. So, very mobile Amish, you're going to struggle with it. Two he three heavy field cars for the uh, Pioneers. Lovely army list. Lovely, lovely. I think I would replace this with something that can reach out and shoot better. Um, also, I think you could replace the howitzer with a um, howling cow, Nibelwerfer, something like that. Uh, a multi-rocket launcher, that will spread out your enemies, which means that you can sort of swing all your engineers towards your pioneers, towards one flank. Um, that would be a good tactic to use. Might, but you could also outflank them, couldn't you? Right, that's it. Thank you so much for the list, Ewan. I hope you can use the comments. See you in the next one. Cheers.